Hey, what is up guys, we're here, welcome back to Let's Play Test Drive Destruction, and as uh, we left off last time, we won a... We finally got our first try with Yatla, and it was glorious to see how everything just got destroyed with how powerful a car is. But, sadly, we'll have to uh, put that car to rest for a little bit, because it is today the mandatory grinding episode. The reason being is that uh, I tried real quick to see if the Bulldog was uh, still uh, fast enough for those kind of Eve we're in. And it seems like the Bulldog is not fast enough anymore, so it means that we're gonna need a lot of speed, and that means we're gonna have to spend a lot of money. And because of that, I need to get said money, and since I've been uh, not grinding at all, I've been uh, not doing any uh, optional objective, Seems like I'm gonna have to do some. So first of all, we're gonna get a uh, speed upgrade on the Venom real quick to bring it up to a nine, so we can really be competitive. Also, we're gonna do a few laps in those area because I need to do that. That's a hundred dollars. That's kind of bad, but it, they do they do get uh, uh, more uh, better and better the prizes. But obviously, we're gonna be making our money with the actual uh, wager racing. What we're gonna do, and I hate that freaking one. I keep like thinking that you need to turn around, but actually no, it's just just gotta pass beside it. Obviously, those uh, those actual uh, areas require a little bit of a uh, of knowledge to uh, do properly. Also, fun random fact like that. Uh, I've been a lot on. Uh, I've not I've been touched my Xbox for a while since. Uh, you know, with the new gen, all that stuff, and I was, a lot, and I had a lot of games I had to play. But lately, I've been back into playing Xbox for some odd reason. Uh, that reason being that I found the old uh, Resident Evil 6 for like ten dollars at the store. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> nobody liked that game, so <laughs> obviously they're gonna set for very cheap. And I actually got the game for new for ten dollars. So I was like, you know what? It might be a bad game, but if I can buy it for ten dollars, why not? What do I miss? And if you don't actually, if you abstract the fact that for Resident Evil game that's a pretty bad one, it's still, it's an okay game actually, it's, it's quite decent, it's just that, oh come on, just that for Resident Evil game it's rather bad, I mean, the whole thing about, did I seriously lose this? I seriously lost the bed because of freaking boxes. For yeah, for, for a Resident Evil game, it's not that good because it has a lot of weird stuff. Like there's too many guns for a zombie game. I mean, seriously, it's like you're, it's it's almost like you're, uh, it's more like a third-person shooter in the old than an old uh, survival game. So yeah, obviously it's not that great, and <laughs> can't believe I felt that bad. That was really bad on my part. I'm being too cautious on those time trials, and one reason why I'm not doing well on them. But yeah, so yeah, as a Resident Evil game, it's a pretty bad one for some uh, for uh, for reason that it's not survival horror. It's more like a first-person shooter, and since Resident Evil is all about like survival horror, it's kind of like for the same franchise bad. But as a game, like by itself, if you ignore all the the bad stuff going behind it, the fans screaming uh, screaming bullshit about the game because of the fact that it use it's it's a Resident Evil game, but it's more like a first-person shooter, a generic one. It's still pretty decent. It has some moments. It has some pretty epic boss fight, and the campaign with Leon is really good. I haven't been through the entire game, so I can't tell. Maybe the other campaigns are quite are kind of, kind of shit. Only Leon is decent, and it's quite fun. Uh, Jake campaign, for example, I just started that one. It had a lot of gun, and I was like, yeah, no, that's bad because it seems Resident Evil doesn't do gunplay that well because of uh, the old traditional um, aiming style of it. They introduced a new aiming one that like it's like crosshair, and when you aim, it just like randomly makes your gun point in the crosshair. So it's like it's like having a crosshair that that basically says your bullet's gonna go in that general direction, but they actually tell you where it's gonna land before you have it. So you like to so you have to move your crosshair around the enemies to to to, to try to find where the red spot's gonna appear. I don't like that because it wasn't accurate enough and it was kind of bad. So I uh, went up with the old uh, laser sight uh, reticle that, that's kind of famous for Resident Evil franchise and, uh, and Dead Space, by the way. Dead Space also added something here, and it's quite fun actually. It's it's a decent game. If you can get it for ten dollars, you're you would be kind of dumb to not buy it. I mean, it's only ten dollars and it's a fairly good game for ten dollars. 
Was it worth the seventy the sixty dollars back in the day? I don't know. It was. It's good for ten dollars, but I don't know if it's gonna if it was good for like seventy. But you know, that's the thing about the unpopular game. They just they get uh, dropped by price so much that at the end they're actually kind of a good deal because you get a game that is kind of good for almost for for literally all nothing. So again, I digress. <laughs> Old games. Talking about all the games, I haven't bought anything in a while. I've been quite a, quite tight on money. And time too, it's like, nowadays with exams, work and all that crap, it's so hard to, to have time to play a good game. You know and then. Although, I get to say that I'm pretty happy because I've been working like an ass and uh, it actually got rewarding a little bit. I managed to do all my stuff and I'm not late in anything, hooray! Because trust me, when you get late in, when you start being late on everything, you just get to a point where it's like, fuck. Because you just have so much work to do and it's like, ouch. And then we're gonna take a gamble and we're going to go for a, 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 an actual grand race. It's, the guy had an orbital and so it basically means that the... The guy itself is not gonna be hard, although the friends, they don't tell you the car, their cars, so... Gotta be careful. Although, we have a fairly fast car now, so it shouldn't be a problem. The rocket behind me might be a problem. But you know, we'll try to beat him. Oh, fun fact, that track, particularly the... the it's funny because if you go to Troy Place, the, the, the track they give you to actually race is... Uh, the old uh, the hometown, but if you go to the other place, which is the um, the, the the other waging place, uh, the the diner, they actually give you another uh, racing track. I think we're gonna lose this, which is kind of bad. We lose this. I don't think we can actually recover from this. Oh, the guy crashed. Good. 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 Because losing a ten uh, thousand, uh, I mean a thousand dollar, with the amount of money we have, is not great, and I still don't understand how that car can be faster than mine, since again, it's not that fast of a car that's front in front of us. Actually, almost looks like another Venom. That is not another Venom, though. So, see you later, dude. You just gave me a grand. And I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh no, okay, yeah, well, that was another lap. <laughs> God damn, so I'm really used to, like, two laps races. I forgot that sometimes they give you, like, more laps. What is that card? I don't remember the name of that one, and I remember the stats, but it seems, like, awfully fast for some odd reason. And it's weird, because, again, we have the Venom, which is one of the fastest cars in the game. And right now it's clock at 9 speeds, so I'm like, whoa, what's that car? In my, uh, in my memories, there's no, there's no such thing as a car that is, uh, another car that has, like, 9, besides the, another one that I don't remember its uh, name. But, you know, it's been a, again, uh, it, my memory's kind of flawed in those kind of cases, because it's been a while since I played this. I say that, but I've been pl I'm playing it right now, and I've been playing it for quite a while. <laughs> But it's just that, back in the old days, I used to play a lot of arcade and you always get to uh, see uh, the, your car stats. But when you're playing campaign, you don't get to really uh, see the car stats beside when you try to buy one, so you don't get to learn any of that. Unless you play the actual arcade, and since I'm only Let's Playing, I'm not really playing it in arcades, so obviously I can't actually uh, learn what a car has what stat because of that. So. Uh, so I need to rely on my memory, that is not that great, so, you know. I really need to find out what car is that one is, because I really wonder how fast it was going. Again, it might be computers just cheating, because, you know, computers. But uh, we're just gonna cash our grand, and we're gonna be happy about that, because that means a lot of money. Also, this, this guy is down. Uh, before doing anything, we are going to drive around for a little bit, and we are going to pack up the other upgrade. And what I, need, what I mean by that is that we're going to grab our actual uh, 10 handling 
trust me, it's gonna come in, in the uh, right about next track. We might actually get some upgrades for the actual um, for the actual uh, other car that we have, the, the bulldog, or we could always sell it because it's a good car, but it's starting to be a bit slow. We are going, we are pretty much at end game right now, so we have to uh, be very careful about the cars we use because we can't use uh, slow cars anymore. That is the sad reality of this game. Although with 10 grands, we should be able to get some extra money by racing at the diner, real quick. Also, kind of, I kind of feel bad for Time Trial 1 because I realize that by winning Time Trial after losing 1, just basically. <laughs> yeah, just basically, literally just regain what I lost. Wow, I'm off. Like, seriously, that's 43 bucks. That's like literally 3 bucks. The one one is here. You have a get guy that has a hunter. I think it was a hunter, right? Yeah, it looks like the hunter that was racing earlier. We are going to get the $400 Bulldog. It's only with one friend, so I sh should not be. Uh, shouldn't be any uh, nasty surprises. Yeah, it's a digit and digit, which is a relatively fast car, and the actual uh, guy that was uh, there. So, yeah, they're not that scary, but you know, and that was a bulldog, which is a car we had, but. You know, that car, the Venom is uh, very, very superior to the Bulldog, so that should be even a problem. Now that we have 10 handling, that car is just gonna be so good. Taking curves and stuff. Might do the other time trials now that I uh, have a really, really good car. I should be able to do them all at that point. I really don't understand how I actually <laughs> fell the, the one. <laughs> oh god. Being too cautious. You have to, you need a certain confidence sometimes, and uh, if you don't have one, you are gonna end up like me, not be able to do a simple jump just because you're not confident you're gonna win it. it. Was really bad on my part, to be quite frank. Although, at least I managed to get the money back. That would have been a pain. I hope there's gonna be another uh, easy target for us because. Uh, Again, since it's a let's play, I'm not gonna save scum, so if I lose money, I actually lose money. Usually I just go for any uh, any race, and if I just lose, I just reload, but again... The raw laws of let's playing ask for real sacrifices and not fake sacrifices by save scumming. Although, I love save scumming. <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, eh, you know what, I'm just going to cheat. Because I love cheating sometimes. It's funny that I say that. It's funny because I, I'm kind of like a, I play a lot of competitive uh, FPS in COD. I'm like, people who cheat are just really annoying because they kind of break the game for those who want to play fairer and uh, you know, and all that whatnot. And that is kind of true. But in single player stuff, I really don't mind cheating because I just find like cheating sometimes just make the entire thing more enjoyable as a whole. I have Hurricane here. Hurricane is a rather fast uh, compact car, but it should be. An easy, a relatively easy win. And two friends. Yeah, let's do that. After that, we might do another time trial, and then we'll see. So again, that's a not, that's the bulldog in front of us, a digit, and the actual hurricane. The hurricane is one of my favorite cards, just because I just like the design of it. And also, it's, the Hurricane is kind of like our Venom we're driving. It's a very fast car, we've got a lot of handling, but a uh, bad case of uh, of uh, bodywork made out of paper. So it's kind of like what we're driving right now. Also, one thing to notice too, we took kind of a damage, uh, a little bit of damage for all of that, so all the money we made, very, a little bit of is going to have to go to repair, so uh, do that in mind when you're racing. That uh, the money you make is not necessarily what you exact, what you make, what you win. Because what I mean by that is that you always have the actual money you make is the money you win minus what it is going to cost you to repair your car for all that racing you did. 
So that's why, like, the $40 bet, I could take it and just grab an easy $40, but all the little uh, bumps and bruises that, that occur while racing will probably cost me more than the actual winning for, of the race. I could do it with the actual Bulldog and I would save uh, save a little bit of money, but again, it's only $40. At this point in the game, it's not worth actual the actual asshole. Just hoping the Venom is going to be able to uh, last for quite a while because uh, with, with the amount of money I sunk in this, in this I'm going to be really 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 sad when I have to let it go although one thing to notice is that the more money you sink in it the more it's actually gonna sell for so don't worry about that you may lose a little bit of money you spend while uh, on upgrades when you sell it but you're able to get a little bit back so it's not that bad another bet another win let's see if we can actually get another uh, decent bet that's a prince, level 62. How many friends? Four friends. That could be a lot of surprises. And that's Hunter, the car that almost got us uh, destroyed. Hmm. You know what? Just as a sign of vengeance, I'm gonna go run through the other, uh, the actual uh, course that we. Uh, kind of fucked up on the first uh, try and uh, get my $200. It's not much but still something so yeah this episode we haven't done that much but we did gain a little bit of money and well we didn't really gain any money but uh, we managed to get a few upgrades by beating people up in our car. Hopefully the $200 is also going to be able to... I'm pretty much hoping to win this just so I can actually take the $200 and uh, call it uh, call it the, the money I'm going to have to spend for to, for an actual repairs for the actual car. Because again, bear in mind that we need to repair that thing. We could, I could technically just let's say, like, ah, you know what, fuck it and just not repair it, but you know, I kind of want it repaired. I might also be buying the, the actual armor upgrade. Now that I have a little bit of money, that could be a decent thing. That would make the, the actual car last a little bit longer. Although it is quite expensive, so I really don't know about that. Oh no, don't tell me. God damn it. I'm gonna lose the, the freaking $200 because of that. Because something I can't control, which is basically car rolling in midair. God damn it, I hate this. That's the only thing I hate about the, that that particular uh, tri time trial because the, it's just that you just. Sometimes your car just gonna roll on its side for no particular reason, and it's not like you can actually control the car in midair in this game. If it was GTA, it wouldn't be that bad because in GTA you can actually control your car midair. Yeah, you know, that's kind of weird, <laughs> but. Uh, like even in Midnight Club, another game by Rockstar, you can actually control your car in midair, which is a kind of a good thing because it makes uh, those kind of annoying jump a lot easier to take. And also, it was pretty good. Managed to recover that. Again, I wonder how I ma managed to lose the first one since how uh, easy those tracks are. I guess I just I was really, really too cautious. So now the question is, do we get the armor upgrade? I think we should because that would make again that would make the car last a little bit longer. Although, again, I'm not too sure if I want to risk it. Uh, yeah, that would be for durability. Yeah, fuck it. You know, that's a really good upgrade, by the way. Knowing the fact that we're only a free, uh, free durability, that's gonna make it a lot easier to uh, not die. Also, should technically repair, uh, lower the repair cost slightly. Just for a simple reason that we don't have to, um, uh, we're going to be taking a little bit less damage, which is, again, generally as a whole is going to make the car a little bit uh, better. So let's get the repair. How much did we spend? 277, uh, which means that, uh, and it's also worth 3000. Before we leave, we are going to switch cars real quick to the Bulldog and repair the whole thing. Because 
And okay, so the bulldog is worth two hundred two thousand dollars. Let's see if we can't trade in the bulldog for something, anything that is mildly interesting, or just check uh, the price of a of its actual upgrade. See if there's anything interesting. Uh, and also, I do know that currently I don't have much money, so if I need to repair mid eve, it's gonna be a bit difficult. But uh, do bear that in mind that uh, we now have two cars for racing, so repairing mid, mid eve is something we haven't done in a while because of uh, the fact that we have two cars, although the bulldog is a bit slow. <laughs> hey, hello, rocket! You silly goose. Narrow in a digit. A blitz. All relatively bad car, and our bulldog is, is the actual 7. Let's see how much it would cost to bring that thing to an 8, so it's actually competitive with some uh, others. That would cost about 720. That would be interesting, to say the least. But I think we'll never actually upgrade the bulldog, we're pretty much gonna be selling it as soon as we. Uh, maybe for something else. It's bad because we haven't used that car yet, it just, it happened weirdly, the Bulldog is like, we got off that car and then we got the Venom just after, which means that we haven't actually had time to use it that much. Some would say that was kind of a waste of money. But then again, you know. That's the whole joy of uh, money managing in this game. Also, Let's uh, switch car one last time, just so I have the Venom equipped. Also repair the Venom, because I actually didn't repair the right one. Also let's drive around real quick, because we are going to do one last thing before leaving this episode, is uh, just going to check the, the, the first uh, time trial course, how much they're actually uh, going uh, to give as a prize. Uh, do bear that in mind that both courses have individual prizes, so if you win one, you don't have, you don't get an increase of prizes on the first one, so you have to run it both. $100. That is pretty much an easy $100, so uh, we're gonna, just gonna go and grab that real quick. Hopefully not get, not cause $100 of worth of damage to the car, which would kind of render the, the point of doing this kind of moot. But, you know really don't have much, uh, much money and I really wish I could get a little bit. Also, I'm gonna be a bit careful to uh, not trash the paint now that uh, we just got it brand new. Brand new. I say brand new, but you know what I mean. <laughs> that car is far from being new. <laughs> got kinda damaged last time. Freaking... Let's see. Here we go, this one. Yeah, that should be a, a relatively easy win since. Uh, I hate that jump. I really hate it. Again, being too cautious and that actually causing more damage and them trying, trying to not like ram into anything just to like you know save some money. But then I realized that I'm causing more damage to the car because I just like flipped over because I was going too slow. Yeah, that's me. That's me. All right. Again, I'm just hoping that. Uh, just hoping the damage we're causing here is not gonna outweigh a hundred dollars. <laughs> that is the bad thing of doing, uh, of having a car that is worth a lot of money. Everything you do is has an impact on your budget. Whee! Yeah, I should really just stop being cautious. You're just getting damaged a lot more. Also, I run the risk of losing all, all the, the losing the wager too. And also, I look like a bad driver on YouTube. Okay, let's see... $100. Let's see how much it's gonna cost us repairing that thing before the end of the episode. Uh, I'm really gonna have to do another uh, episode of, gr of uh, grinding at, at some point just to, again, get our budget up. Although we do have an unfully upgraded, so that car is going to be able to last us for quite a while since it's a very good car and uh, if it upgraded, it's a very, very fast and very, very good. Although we would kind of need to get the Bulldog upgraded, but you know, I'm going to keep the Bulldog for suicide races and stuff that I really, really don't want to use the Venom on, but I'm going to be using the Venom for like all the grunt work. Because again, let's see, $10! Yay! We made $90 of profit out of that. <laughs> 
Also, how much was the salvage was worth in the Venom? 7,000. Oh, that's kind of good. Which means that if we want to get another Venom or to get a rocket, we can just sell that car and the Bulldog and we can get a rocket. We could do it right now if you want to. But since... Uh, but just look at the, the car stats right now. The, the actual Venom is uh, almost as... Well, it's pretty much almost as... Yeah, yeah, it's literally one speed less than a, than a rocket. So there's no point in, actual, uh, in actually selling a car. Taking a car is going to cost even more in repairs for only one speed more. So I'll keep the Venom for now. Although I will be trading... Uh, as soon as the Venom gets to uh, to a very damaged status, uh, I'm gonna be trading the the the, Ven the Bulldog as well as the Fillmore, and uh, and see if I can get another another uh, Venom or a or a Gladiator. I would love a Gladiator. That's like that's like my, literally my favorite car ever. But anyways, hope you had a good episode, guys. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, I will see you later, folks. See ya. And sorry for a great episode. <laughs> At some point, that's bound to happen. Anyways, see you guys.